How's the baby? Is he okay? Who was it? We will not stop until we get this guy. In some kind of danger? I need to know. I'm not a ghost. I can fix whatever problem I'm in. We're all at risk now. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're gonna be talking about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4, Episode 7. This is the final predictions. So down below, I want you guys to give me your final predictions for this upcoming episode. I can't wait to see it. Word on the streets, your girl Dirty Diana just may catch a body. Word on the streets, your boy Rashad Odal Tate, he's about to return and I'm ready for him to turn up. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to see him turn up. Y'all know he's going to be pissed off about his brother Kamal Tate. So he definitely going to be asking questions and I want to know how long it's going to take for him to figure out that Detective Don Carter's task force is dirty and maybe that they have something to do with it. So we're going to see how he's going to be moving in this next upcoming episode. Now I'm going to go over this description one last time. I'm going to go over some of those exclusive pictures. And then after that, we're going to go over that trailer one last time to get the final predictions. Now the title of episode 7 is called, I Can't Fix This. And the description of the episode reads, When tragedy strikes, Tariq and the Tejadas are set on a mission to avenge what they've lost. Drew must take out a threat to Carter's organization in order to protect his family. So those are some of the things that we're going to have to look out for in tonight's episode of the show. But let's go over some of these exclusive pictures real quick. And in this first picture right here, we see Brayden and Effie. We see them at a door and we see blood over Brayden's head, blood on Effie's neck. Now, I know these two will be completing a side mission in this episode, working together once again, like the old days. The question is, what the hell will these two be doing? Now we see Kane and Effie, and I believe they're having a conversation with Brayden. You guys let me know. Now, I believe this is where they're talking about the game plan as far as what Effie and Brayden are about to do. And then we see Brayden right here looking back at them. Now, I don't know exactly what they're going to be doing. And my prediction, whatever they're doing, maybe is something to do with um, Detective Felicia Lewis or maybe even somebody in law enforcement. I noticed Effie, she's on the computer right here. Y'all know she loves to hack, but I see a mouse pad with the law enforcement flag logo, right? So it could be somebody that works for law enforcement and they're trying to hack their computer. Um, maybe they're trying to delete the footage that was taken of Braden and Tariq taking out Zion. Now I can be completely wrong, but I know it was footage. And I'm pretty sure if Detective Don Carter sees that footage, it's gonna be held to pay and if Tariq and Brayden know it is footage out there, I'm pretty sure they're going to want that footage deleted just in case it comes back on them somehow, some way. Now, if you zoom in on the computer screen, you see the police department logo in the background or whatever. You see like Effie maybe downloading something. Now, look at the folders. It says Task Force. So this could be connected to Detective Don Carter's Task Force. And this is why I say I would not be surprised if it's, you know, connected to Detective Felicia Lewis. So we're going to see what time it is. We know that's what they're going to most likely be doing in this next upcoming episode. So it makes sense on why Effie will be there because we know she's good at computers. She hacks computers or whatever. So this is going to be very interesting to see what they're going to do with this information. But most likely trying to delete that video will be something they need to do. Now, we also see Kane and Effie right here. We see the folders on the bed. We see, of course, this course perfect. And we see the drugs. So Effie will be putting in that work once again. And I'm pretty sure Kane's going to be worrying about what she's going to be doing. Now, we see your girl Diana right here with the look of concern on her face. I know all the fans want to know, did she end up losing the baby? Did the baby survive? I mean, it is all types of crazy fan theories out there. Some say maybe she had twins. Because Tariq is the twin, some people are saying maybe she lost one of the you know babies and one of them end up surviving. I mean, I don't know what the hell they're going to do with the storyline. All I know is this, based off this trailer, based off these pictures, Diana is definitely about to put in some work. So if that baby end up surviving and Diana is catching bodies, that's going to be crazy. I mean, I would try to just, you know, hold out for a little bit, but 
I'm just eager to find out exactly what ended up happening. I'm tired of hearing all these predictions and rumors. I want to know the truth. But we can see Diana having a conversation with Tariq. And y'all know they're about to go put in some work. We also see Diana, Tariq, and Monet having a conversation. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be the scene where Detective Don Carter walks in. And he's going to be very upset. Now, we also see a picture of Davis McLean and your boy Kane. Y'all know he don't like Davis McLean at all. And he's going to question Noma about trusting him and, of course, Tariq. But we also know that Noma, she still has, you know, issues with those contracts. We know Wiley Adams got taken out in the last episode. So I'm eager to see what's going to happen next as far as that storyline in this episode. Now... Look at Detective Don Carter. He looking very upset. This man is going to be pissed off at this next upcoming episode. I mean, he just dropped off Kamal Tate. At the same time, Felicia, she has been slipping up and he is getting tired of it, right? She's already been warned on what she needs to be doing. And apparently, she needs to be neutralized, plain and simple. So it's whether somebody else does it or Detective Don Carter does it. But we can see in this picture right here, he does not look happy. And I'm pretty sure... This is going to be Felicia's last episode, and then we can finally say bye, Felicia. Now, in this picture right here, we see Tariq having a conversation with Tasha. She is very worried about him as far as what he is doing. He is popping up to her undisclosed location, which is very stupid. Like, why would you even do this, right? Now, we know Tariq believes that he can fix anything, but we know most likely he can't, right? Now, if you go back to Power Season 4, Episode 10... Now, the title of that episode was called You Can't Fix This. And it's a very similar description as this episode, which is called I Can't Fix This. So you already know it's the parallels like father, like son. We know Tasha. She told Ghost that he cannot fix this because of what happened to Raina. And y'all know that scene was very emotional. So we're going to see if Tariq's unborn child ends up making it and how everything is going to play out. So expect some similarities between those episodes and expect your boy Tariq to once again dog out his pops talking about I'm not ghost and all that stuff. Well, you're not ghost. We're going to see what you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? And Tasha, she's already had to check him in the past about him basically dogging out ghosts like he's just so much better. Well, that's not necessarily the case, Tariq. You have a lot on your plate and we're going to see if you really can fix this because so far... It does not seem like you've been fixing anything. It just seems like it's more problems each and every episode. And it's like never ending drama. But it is what it is. Now, also, we talked about this in my Drew Tejada video that I made yesterday. Now, we know Drew has a task at hand. And that is to take out Roman. And I believe he's going to try his best to do that. The question is, will he get some help from some of the dirty officers that's there? Or will they end up going against him? making his task that much more difficult. But let's go over this trailer one last time to get those final predictions. We already know we're going to see Monet very stressed out, wondering if this baby is going to make it and if her daughter is okay. Now, based off Tariq's body language, I believe that the baby is going to be all right, at least at first, because he does not seem that you know very emotional um, in this particular scene that they're showing us. Even this conversation with Tasha didn't really seem like he was like very, you know, emotional as well. And we know Tasha, she's going to talk about how that child is hope. So maybe the baby does survive or maybe not. And I also forgot to talk about your girl Yasmin. We know she's going to make a return as well when Tariq goes to visit his moms. Now, let's get to your boy Kamal Krillin Domehead Tate. He dropped off, he gone. But guess what? Old dog is here. I'm expecting him to turn up. I really want him to find out that these guys, you know, did this to his brother. You know what I'm saying? Don Carter. He's the one that took him out. He's the one that's going to have a conversation with Rashad. And Rashad, I hope he's in the last four episodes. They need to go out with a bang, especially since it is the last season. Now, my final predictions. I believe that Detective Don Carter, he's going to lie straight to Rashad Tate's face. He's going to tell him basically that he didn't do it, of course. He's going to probably put it on somebody else. We know in the trailer he is talking about how he's not going to stop until he finds this guy or whatever. So we're going to see what time it is. Hopefully we get to see another scene between Rashad Tate and Tariq because every time 
They're in the scene together. It's a classic, right? It's always a classic. And we know Rashad, he always got something crazy to say. Now, in my final predictions, as we can see right here, Nico and Detective Don Carter, they're about to most likely set somebody up. That's what I'm thinking. I told you guys in my What to Expect video, I don't know whoever they're setting up. I don't know if this is Pinky or maybe it's someone else. But whoever it is, Don Carter, he could take them out. You know what I'm saying? We know he's pointing a gun at him right here. And then we see him placing the strap in someone's hand. So I believe it is Detective Don Carter that's doing this or maybe even Nico. I did see one of you guys state that y'all would not be surprised if Don Carter has to take out Nico as well. But we gonna see. Now you guys, I want you to let me know who y'all think gonna win between Tariq and Stokely because they're about to get it on in this next upcoming episode. Now I dropped that exclusive clip yesterday between the two and we know Stokely, he told them that he knows they're selling drugs at these events and basically they're fired and he was running his mouth y'all. So who in the hell told him? Who told him about the drugs? We know that Braden, he was tweaking all on stage. You know what I'm saying? Coked out making all types of mistakes. So all that did was mess things up. But we know Tariq and him are about to get into it. Based off the trailer, we can see Tariq kind of you know, like lunging at him and then it cuts off. So who y'all got? Y'all think Stokely going to win or Tariq is going to win? Now I'm going to say this. I do think Stokely probably is about to get jumped. You know what I'm saying? You got Braden and Tariq in there at the same time. So even if Tariq is taking the L, Braden, he's going to jump in and they're going to beat that boy down. And I'm pretty sure Brayden, he's going to want to have a conversation with Elle because maybe she's the one running her damn mouth. Now we see Tariq in the trailer with the strap getting ready to put in some work just in case something jumps off. And hell, he might as well just pistol whoop Stokely. He in there running his mouth, going ahead and letting you know what time it is. And as we talked about earlier, we know Davis McLean, he will be all over Noma and y'all know Kane, he's going to be jealous like always. Now, my final predictions for your girl, Felicia, is this. I believe she's a liability. I believe that Coke, it really got her mind all over the place. And Detective Don Carter understands this. And he probably needs to get her up out of here. So I won't be surprised if he does not even give a damn that she's dropped off. Because she's just causing too many, you know, different issues, right? Now, based off these trailers... I believe Diana will take her out. I believe this is going to be the episode where we see this based off Diana's outfit. She about to get payback and it could be her first body. Now we also know that Detective Don Carter, he is going to confront Tariq, Diana and Monet. The question is, what is this conversation going to be about? It could be about the video. Maybe he saw it. Maybe he knows Tariq was the one that took out Zion and we know he hates Tariq, right? So I'm eager to see exactly what this conversation is going to be about. He could found out about, you know, Monet always lying to him about certain things. At the end of the day, Detective Don Carter, he's going to continue to try to control Monet's every move and make them continue to put in work for him. And he's going to also make Drew put in work as well. Even though Drew has, you know, a task at hand, I would not be surprised if Don Carter wants Drew to do more things. And I'm pretty sure Tariq will be upset. Like, man, I cannot believe that y'all involved with this dirty cop. So y'all know Tariq is going to be plotting and planning on a way to neutralize Detective Don Carter. Now, this picture right here, in my opinion, will be the moment where Tariq finds out the truth or at least information about what's going to happen to his unborn child. As I told you guys, I believe in certain scenes the baby is going to be okay, but... I will not be surprised if they end up telling us they need more time to figure out what's going to happen. And we may see, you know, Diana go through some things, but they're going to give us that answer as far as, you know, her keeping the baby. You know, will it be healthy if she is, you know, able to continue this pregnancy or is it best that they end up getting an abortion? So we're going to find out soon enough. I want you guys to leave your theories, predictions, leave it all down below. I'm going to catch you guys tonight for the quick thoughts early impressions so stay tuned now i want to thank you guys once again for all the love all the support and i'll catch y'all on the next one but let me get up on out of here man it's your boy mark dark i'm out peace